Roundup ready to extend beans. Are you going to plant them on your farm or not? That's really the big question. Well, we're standing in a field right now of Roundup ready to extend soybeans, and I am very, very excited about this new technology. When we can spray dicamba post emerge in soybeans, Resistant weeds are really going to be scared. Well, yeah, but here's the whole thing. It's not like when Roundup first came out. When Roundup first came out, guys were spraying two foot tall weeds and it was taking them down. That is not going to happen with dicamba. We're very concerned about the weed height. You need that weed height to be four to six inches tall, and then, yes, you're going to have good control. So when we start talking about things like water hemp and palmer pigweed, how long is that weed going to be four to six inches tall? Not long. Our point is, we love the new Extend Beans. That's where the best genetics are. You've got an option post-emerge that you didn't have otherwise, the ability to spray dicamba, assuming that gets labeled for spring. But here's the whole thing. We still are going to strongly encourage you, put a pre-emerge herbicide down. The pre-emerge herbicides keep coming down in price. Use a pre. It's really going to help your overall weed control. Okay, let me speak to the seed genetics really quick, and then I want to talk about how dicamba works so you kind of understand how you're going to use this technology on your farm. So in terms of the seed genetics, the breeders have been working with Roundup Ready to Extend since about 2006. Since before Roundup 2s even came out, the breeders were already working on this Extend trait. So don't think, well, it's a brand new trait. They're probably not gonna have any good yielding material for a few years. Wrong answer. There's some excellent yielding material that's out right now. And also the disease package that, that has been able to be put into these varieties is tremendous. Uh, in fact, this year with our late season observations, we're seeing equal sudden death syndrome tolerance to the Roundup 2s, if not better. In many cases, we're seeing better tolerance to SDS and some of the other diseases. We're seeing a high level of RPS3A phytophthora genes. We're seeing some root knot nematode genes. Uh, we're seeing STS or sulfonylurea tolerance in some of the varieties. We're seeing all these traits that you've come to love in the Roundup 2s. We're seeing them in the Extend Beans. So you're not giving up anything in terms of yield or right. disease tolerance. All right, now real quick, what were you talking about with dicamba? How do you want to use it? All right, when we think about dicamba and how it works, it works differently than Liberty, for example. So many farmers I talk to say, well, I could go Liberty. Okay, you could. With Liberty, that's an excellent product. You've got to spray about 20 gallons of water and you have to have very fine droplets. You have to get great coverage with Liberty if you want it to work. With dicamba, on the other hand, we want ultra coarse droplets. We want great big droplets to try and prevent any drift. We don't want physical drift with dicamba. We're also concerned about volatility. So the spray additives that you're putting in, we don't want you to put ammonium sulfate in with dicamba applications. It makes it more volatile. This is one of the reasons why we've had issues with volatility with dicamba in the past is AMS can be a detriment. It helps with weed control, but it's a detriment in terms of volatility. So we're gonna use ultra coarse droplets with dicamba. Now it doesn't take great coverage with dicamba to work. You do need coverage, but you don't have to cover every speck of the, the entire plant to get it killed because dicamba will move around inside. All the right, plant. we do think that Extend is a great option for you. You absolutely could plant it. We've been planting a lot of it on our farm the last couple of years, but it's not the only option. You could certainly go Liberty too if you have Roundup resistant weeds. Well, with both Liberty and dicamba, uh, neither one's going to control our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you what will, coming up next.